Uh, so this tutorial is to help you um, in an exam to interpret photos and in this case of coastal deposition. So let's start with this photograph. Can you see the different ridges in the beach? Uh, the ridges are known as berms and the high tide berm is this one closest to the sea and then we have the springtime berm which is this one here. You might also pick out the larger shingle sizes here and they will be much larger than shingle there uh, because the backwash will drag down the lightest, smallest pieces uh, back down the beach in this direction. So let's take a look at this photograph here. Uh, quite obviously the beach is a sandy beach and you can infer that it will have a shallow gradient simply because it is consists of sand rather than shingle. Uh, the other thing that you can infer is that although you can see a headland, that's obvious, um, have a look at the waves in the photograph. You might be able to infer that the waves have been um, refracted. Refracted is the bending of the waves um, within the bay and Interestingly, you might be able to point out that in this area of the headland there will be erosion because the waves will be attacking the headland um, from the side. So you might infer that there are some crevices or even caves forming there. And it is this level of detail which will stand you out from the next candidate. Now this photograph here it's obviously of a spit. Uh, this is the spit here and you may have to explain why the spit has formed here or you may have to just point out the features. So the original headland was here and you can assume that there is some kind of um, longshore drift going in that direction, possibly as a result of a prevailing wind coming from here. So you'd have your zigzag motion in that direction. Uh, on the other side of the spit we've got a hooked end so the longshore drift has changed direction to there possibly because of a secondary wind and maybe the prevailing wind is coming from this direction so you've got your zigzag motion going on like that. Um, the spit does not extend all the way across because there's obviously um, some kind of river current coming through here which prevents the extension of the spit. Behind the spit it's very calm, it's very saline, so you perfect conditions for salt marshes to form um, in this, this region here. And finally, um, here's a nice photo of a bar. Uh, this is the bar here, it's caused by deposition, um, longshore drift, uh, let's assume it's coming uh, in this direction as a result perhaps of a prevailing wind coming from here so we have an extension of the headland and deposition and this time there is no river current um, stopping the um, extension of, the, sp of the, the spit and it extends all the way from this headland to this headland and it cuts off the water behind. The water behind is known as a lagoon which is in that location there. So look for the finer detail in the photographs to access the highest marks.